I'm going to show you how to make your very own custom QR code. You've probably seen them plenty of times, and now you want to create your own. Um, I've gone to this website called qrcodemonkey.com. I'm going to link it in the description, so just tap that, it'll take you to the site here. This QR code right here now takes you uh, to the site you're on. Let's change this to something different. Um, this is a link to my website. Now let's go through some of the customization options here. Uh, if you can set the color to um, anything you want here, you can also input the the hex of the color. So say if you have if you're a web developer and you know how to generate colors with, with this, um, you can use that. Or if you have Photoshop and you want to pick a specific color out of an image, I can use the color picker. It'll give you this uh, or the color in hex and you can put it here at least i'm pretty sure that works let's try it yep that does work you can see uh zero zero or uh ff -F is white um yeah that does work you can input it manually here um let's just keep this black for now You can set your logo image. So if you have a uh, logo, you can uh, set that as well, which is very neat. I'm not gonna do that right now. So let's collapse that menu. And you can also choose your design here, which is very neat. So you can make like a bit of a custom thing going on here. Now uh, let's choose this one here. And now you can create your very own QR code. Um, warning, we recommend give your colors more contrast. Um, let's do that. Well, right here. Let's uh, see this right here is no color right now. Um, let's, let's make it blue, dark blue. There you go. Still saying the same thing. Oh, well, let's ignore that for now. And let's create our QR code. And there it is. As you can see, um, this is the background here. It's very blue. Probably not such a good idea. Let's change that to, uh, let's just make it white. Oh, come on. There you go. Oh, looks like that didn't quite work. Come on, what's going on here? Give me white. There you go. As you can see, that's a bit of a neat design here. Uh, kind of skewed corners here. Uh, if I would have added a logo, it would have showed up right in the center here. And the code would be around it. And... You can also download it now. Um, there's different formats as well. You can download it as a SVG, which you use for web, mainly um, a PDF, which you probably all know. Um, one downside here is I'm not seeing vector, which is uh, a format that allows you to, uh, to resize it to any size and it'll not lose its quality because right now if you download this as a png yes it's going to be transparent you can put it over a picture and the picture will be visible um, through the code here but um, if you want to make it for example very big or very small it may lose uh, quality slightly let's try it